Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel, Gino Bella's Gear Reviews. I hope to provide a lot of reviews for you with good, useful information, nice, clear, close-up shots, and size comparisons. Hopefully these videos will help give you a better idea of these products before you make purchasing decisions. I uh, also hope to make these reviews fun and entertaining and also keep them concise without a lot of rambling. So just to give you a little background about myself. Ramble alert! Ramble alert! Whoa! You sounded like you were just about to start a long rambling background story that no one wants to hear. Remember, reviewers only get 20 seconds to ramble. Ready, set, go! Okay, well, I work at a desk, so I generally don't hard use or abuse my gear. I'm also not that outdoorsy, so you won't see a lot of bushcrafting or camping videos on this channel. But I do carry guns, knives, flashlights, pens, and all kinds of other stuff every day. And I love this kind of stuff, so I'm really looking forward to bringing you these videos. Okay, on to the Spyderco Tenacious. This is a special knife to me because it was my first Spyderco and was the first knife that really got me started down the road to appreciating knives and accumulating them. I bought this Tenacious back in 2010 and it really impressed me. You know, before that, a knife was just a tool you know, that I, I'd carried them around, but I never paid very much for them and they were always dull and I just didn't know any better. But as soon as I opened this Tenacious, I just loved everything about it. You know, the opening hole, fast deployment. The pocket clip, the smooth action, texture of the handles, and it was by far the sharpest knife I'd ever gotten out of the box. So I'll go over the specs here. The blade is three and three eighths inches. Blade thickness is three millimeters. Steel is 8CR13 MOV. Weight is 4.1 ounces. Closed length 4 and 3 eighths inches, and overall length 7 and 3 quarter inches, and it is made in China. Now, I know that even though you might read up on specs, it can still be hard to imagine just how big or small a knife really is. So I wanted to give you some size comparisons here with a few common knives that hopefully you might already have some experience with. So here it is alongside a Spyderco Delica 4. and the Kershaw Skyline. Here it is with the three and a quarter inch Buck Vantage. And the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Let's see if I can get them all in frame here. Here they are closed with the pocket clips lined up. And here you can get an idea of the width or thickness. From left to right we have the Kershaw Skyline, Buck Vantage, the Tenacious in the middle, the Delica 4, and the Paramilitary 2 on the right. To me the Tenacious is a very good solid EDC everyday carry folder. I can't really comment on just how tough it might be as a camp knife or how it might work for specific martial arts or self-defense purposes, but it's a well-made knife, seems sturdy, and it should be able to manage most cutting tasks without too much trouble. I carried and used this one quite a lot, especially when I first got it, and it still sees a lot of the hard-use tasks I come across at home or when I have to do something really dirty. <laughs> That's what she said. Creep! Ow. Okay, the 8CR13 MOV steel doesn't hold its edge quite like some of the better steels out there, but so far, even I've been able to touch it up and get a good sharp edge on it with the sharp maker. Now I want to talk about some of the great features of this knife. Being a Spyderco, of course you have the Spidey hole, which allows for fast, smooth, reliable opening. You can open it any number of ways. Spidey drop. There's lots of different ways to open this. And that was probably the most striking feature to me when I first got it. The speed and ease of opening. I also like the texture of the G10. I had never had a G10 handled knife before when I got this one. 
Now, some of the, the G10 that's used on the Chinese Spydercos is a little less grippy than what you find on the USA and Japanese-made Spydercos. But, you know, it's still a good material. It is a little more plasticky, but it offers good grip and it is effective. Another really good feature on most Spydercos is the pocket clip. And the hourglass clip works really well. Are you tired of pocket clips that snag on everything in sight? Or pocket clips that just aren't tight? Or pocket clips with too much might? Uh-oh. Ow! Spyderco's hourglass clip holds the knife securely in your pocket, and the nice rounded edge here doesn't snag fabrics very easily. And the clip can also be swapped to tip up or tip down, left or right carry. The Tenacious also features open pillar construction that's very easy to clean and maintain. It has very nice jimping there on the thumb ramp and also on the lock bar. The jimping offers good grip, but it isn't too aggressive. Ergonomics are very good. It's nice and solid, locks into the hand really well. The Tenacious also has a nice blade shape. It's got a full cutting edge, decent amount of belly, but not too much. I find the blade shape great for just about all my cutting tasks. The liner lock works well. Lock up is smooth and solid. And mine doesn't have any up and down play, but there's just a touch of side to side play. Now, I have never really tried to adjust the pivot. Maybe I could tighten it up a little, but the play is pretty insignificant. It also has a lanyard hole back there. I'm not really much of a lanyard person, but it's there if you want it. As far as negatives with the Tenacious, there really aren't too many that I can mention. Um, as I said, the G10 texture isn't quite as nice as some of the more expensive models. The steel doesn't hold its edge quite as well as some of the super steels. Um, I've also heard that the steel can have uh, corrosion issues if it's not looked after, but mine hasn't shown any signs of rust or corrosion at all, and I've had it for over four years now. Other than that, it just comes down to personal preference. But uh, for the price, this is an excellent knife. Uh, I think they have other versions. I think there's a combo edge. Uh, they have black blade, I believe, and it has come in a couple other colors, uh, blue and green. Um, there are more premium knives available if you want fancy super steel or a titanium frame lock or something. But uh, for the price, the Tenacious is very, very good. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I do hope to do a bunch more of these. And now I will close this video with a close-up look. I hope to close all my videos with a close-up look of uh, whatever is being reviewed. So here it is, the close-up look at the Spyderco Tenacious. Thank you.